guys, <clears throat> let's talk about this real quick. When you come from a place where everybody knows everybody type thing, and you become like an outcast, you start to live your life a lot differently than a lot of people around you. And those people are going to do anything in their power, bro, to make you feel bad, to make you feel uncomfortable, slandering your name, just anything in general to make you feel like you're wrong or you're doing something wrong for growing as a person, for doing better. Because you're not being like them. You live that life. It's time for you to grow. It's time for you to move on with your life. And a lot of those types of people have a problem with people who choose growth. So when all this stuff started, this is how the gang stalking entered my life. This is when people started to watch me and everything I do and pay close attention and do some shady shit when I start doing different things with my life. This is just how it goes. And at first, it will affect you. At first, it will bother you. But as you go on, as time goes on, All this stuff is going to fade. They will give up. But this is how it entered my life in the first place. I already been through it. Like to this day right now, it's my least concern. But I've been through it. I have the experience. And I know what it's like and I know what it feels like. These people want to make you feel fear. They want to make you feel anxious. They want to make you feel like you're doing something wrong or bad when you're not. They see it that way because anyone who goes against their way of living and their little bubble is deemed as something different. They are intimidated by that. So... They go against you. <clears throat> and all these people are going to try to bring you down when you do that. But you have to rise above every bit of it and free yourself from that controlled reality, which is the Matrix. They are all in the Matrix, bro. Let's be real. Every single one of those people that do that kind of shit, they're not free-minded. They're in the Matrix. My favorite type of people are free-minded people, not so stuck on your ass. Not so crazy. Like free. Free thinkers. You're not so concerned about me and, and all this stuff. You're, you're just free yourself. I'm free myself. We can get together. We can just bond and vibe. We have differences. That's good. That's good. What you don't want is being around a bunch of people who are all the same, having the same conversations, is weak shit. It's all weak. They're all weak people. They need each other to feel alive. Individually, they're all fundamentally fucked. They can't take their own path in life. They can't take their own road. They don't have any courage. So when you do, all these people will gang up on you, bro. All these people, and this is a shit I've been through in my life. I went so far, they fell off. Like I said, all this stuff will fade. And you will rise and you will do your thing. They are in the, in the back mirror. And you know... It's not even that you wanted that to happen, but
but it has to happen because they turn very toxic and negative for your life decisions. And if people ain't on board with you and they want to go against you and they want to be disrespectful and all this kind of stuff, you have to let them go. You weren't born to have people toxically attached to you because they're all toxically attached to each other. They're all the same. They are all the same, bro. You're different. They are not. They're all the same. So, you could be a person watching this video right now and you could be going through something like this right now. My advice to you is to continue going, dig down deep. Continue your life's path, whatever you're doing, dig down deep. Try to practice breathing techniques. Try to not let them make you feel so anxious and like you're doing something wrong or something bad. Because when you're going for bigger, bigger and better things and you're trying to level up in life, you will get all these gang stalkers trying to override what you're doing. They'll try to bring you down any way they can. They'll slander your name. They'll make shit up. They'll do anything, bro. They will do anything. It's like their life's mission is to stop you. Like, literally, that's how intensely they go about it. It's crazy. <clears throat> and you're seeing a guy right now that has defeated these people. They could not get to me. They could not stop me. They made me feel uncomfortable. They made me feel many different ways a lot but they could not stop me I kept going and you have to do the exact same thing you have to be a strong individual and keep pushing forward in life there is no other option there is no other way you have to go through these people bro you have to show them you can't mess with me. You can't do nothing to me. I will show you this. I was overly aggressive for years. I still have aggression in me if I ever need to use it. A hundred percent. But I felt aggressive and kind of mad for years of my life in my early 20s. I want to take all these people out. And that's how you're going to feel when the enemies are attacking these backstabbing bums, bro. They're not willing to accept you. And what are you supposed to do? Just not do it because they're not willing to accept you? Okay. You don't want to accept me. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll just be who you want me to be. No. No. That's not how the world goes. That's not what you're supposed to do. They need to grow up and see what you're trying to do in life. But no, they can't do that because they're jealous, bitter, hater, bums. And they'll forever be that. They'll forever amount to nothing. All while you do, consistently and constantly. They don't have the skill you have, bruh. They don't have the determination that you have. You're chosen. They're not. They're all the same. Living in fear. Stuck. They can't budge. Because they're not willing to go against the grain. They would rather feel comfortable and, and all this stuff and protect themselves from feeling bad any single second of any single day. If they feel one way and it's uncomfortable, oh, i got to make myself feel comfortable now. That's the type of people they are. They can never do the right things. And doing the right things in your life is oftentimes the harder things. But it's what's going to help you grow and evolve and succeed. <clears throat> but these people are going to go against you for doing it. <clears throat> they don't want to see it happen. They don't want to see this happen. And I'm telling you guys the truth. It's the last thing they want happening. Is for you to be the one that escapes the bucket of crabs. 
because everybody comes into this world all the same. We're all a bunch of crabs in a bucket. But who's going to separate themselves? Who's going to crawl out of that bucket and get free and be free? All those people are a bunch of crabs stuck in a bucket. And when you're trying to escape for the greater good, all these crabs are going to be trying to claw you down and pull you back down, but you're going to escape. And they're all going to be so pissed off because you're gone. On to bigger and better things. And they have a problem with this because they would love to do it. But they don't have it in them. Even if they try to get out of the bucket them damn selves, they don't have the tenacity. All these other crabs are going to pull them down and they're not going to have the power to escape like you did. Because you have true power and they just don't. This is the world. Not everybody in the world is powerful. Not everybody in the world is meant to do bigger and better things. Not everybody in the world has it in them to do it. You can't let these people get to you, bro. Oftentimes, most people get held back in life because of others. You let other people dictate your life. You let other people bring you down. You let other people stop you from growing and succeeding. And it's a huge mistake. <clears throat> you have to see this stuff for what it really is. You have to be willing to leave these people behind. And they're going to gang stalk the ever-living hell out of your life. Especially the better you continue to do. They'll be watching you like a hawk. They're going to watch you forever, bro. And I mean they're going to watch you forever. They don't want to acknowledge your success. They're going to see it, but they don't want to actually acknowledge it and take it into consideration. They don't want to give you that respect. They're so mad at what you're doing. They don't want to respect you. They'd rather disrespect you and bring you down and say toxic things that aren't even true to try to get in your head to make you feel less confident, less powerful, so they can try to make themselves feed off of you. Because at the high heights you're at, if they were to bring you down, that puts them above you. You don't let these motherfuckers do that, bro. You go completely against them when they try to do this dumb shit. That's the warrior spirit and mentality I had for years. And I let these people know, you can't beat me. You want to go against me? Go against me. But guess what? You're not going to beat me. I'm going to beat your ass. And you're going to see it. This is a warrior mentality you need to have. When people are not okay with who you're becoming. They're not okay with it, bro. They are not. They don't want to see you succeed at all. Not at all. Because they can't. If they could succeed, they wouldn't mind if you succeeded. They wouldn't mind. It's the fact that you're outdoing them. Which is why I preach on this channel all the time. When you're outgrowing the people around you in life, you have to leave them behind. It's going to turn bad eventually anyways. You have to see this shit before it even happens. You're going to outgrow them, bro. You're going to outgrow those people. And you will leave them behind. Because they're not willing to accept your destiny. They're just not. So what are you going to do? Hang up. Let these toxic people even speak to you at all? When they're going to say a bunch of bullshit? People become more disrespectful as you get better in your own life. The world is backwards, bro. People are backwards. The world is fucking backwards. <laughs> There's levels to shit. There's levels to life. There's levels to humans. You have to get around people who understand you fully through. Who are on your tip. Who are on your level. Because if it's not about that, it's not going to work. My favorite type of people in life can acknowledge the truth. Full force. Some people love it. Some people live for it. Some people are realists. And some people are those types of filthy animals. 
the gang stalkers because it's what they do. You're like you're you're like the the movie star to them. That's what you're like. You're like the movie star. They're watching your life like a movie. And they hate what is happening for you because it's not happening for them. They can't make it happen for them, bro. They can't work on your level, bro. They can't even work with you, bro. Because you have something in you that they just don't. It's like going for a long distance run with your buddies. You can finish the race. They can't. They stop. They quit. They give up. Let's say you and a couple people plan to jump on treadmills side by side and you guys are going to run five miles on the treadmill. You can finish the five miles. They can't even finish half the fucking thing. They stop. You know how many times in the past, even when I was younger, up to late teens, early 20s, that I went to the gym with certain people and we would do certain things and they would always throw in the towel and give up? Too many times to count. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Just not everybody has it. It's that it factor. Not everybody has it. Not everybody wants to feel uncomfortable. But you do. <clears throat> and they don't. And that is a separator. So. This is life. Welcome to it. It's a hell of a ride. Make sure you're doing the right things. Keep yourself safe. Keep yourself keep yourself protected at all times. These people are relentless in what they do. But eventually, they fade. At first, it's going to be a hellhole for you. You'll be the most talked about person in town. You'll be the most stalked. You'll be the most watched. They want to tear you down. They're not saying good things behind your back. They're slandering your whole shit, bruh. That's what they're doing. It's what they do. So you have to see this. For what it is. And keep going through all of it. Just keep going. Just keep going. One day at a time. Just keep digging and digging and digging. You'll eventually get to where you are. And you will eventually shut them up because there's nothing, you'll get to a point where there's nothing they can say. There's not a word they can say. Because you reach certain levels. They want to lie the whole time as if you're not nothing. As if they're above you. As if you're crazy. But all of a sudden, you shut them completely up. You become everything in life that they will never amount to or never become. And it's amazing because you were right, they were wrong. It's a great feeling when people try to gaslight you, bro, because that's what they do. They try to gaslight you. They try to make you go crazy. But you know what you're doing, and things take time. That's why when you have an idea, bro, it's not just going to magically appear. An idea is an idea. Now you got to get to work. And in the process of you having your ideas and you working on certain things in the beginning stages, People's going to be seeing that. They're not going to take you serious. They're going to gaslight the hell out of you. They're going to try to fill your head with bullshit. But as you keep going and you become successful, all of a sudden, boom. They got nowhere to go. You got nowhere to run to. They got nothing to say. They just shut up and go on, and they just shut up and go on about their lives. All while you do the same thing. You just keep getting better and better and better and making them look more stupid and stupid and stupid. That's how it goes. No.